Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Right of the homeland. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, help one another to do what is right and good. Do not help one another toward sin and hostility. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Loving one's homeland is a lofty human natural instinct and a great religious value. Our Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, has embodied the meaning of loving his homeland and being loyal to it when his people forced him to leave Mecca. He, peace be upon him, addressed Mecca saying, How good you are as a land. And how dear you are to my heart. How good you are as a land. And how dear you are to my heart. Had your people not forced me out of you, I would have never came out and would have never resided in any other city but you. Moreover, Loving one's homeland requires respecting its national flag, national anthem, and other symbols, and maintaining its safety, security, and stability. It goes without saying that patriotism is not just a word to be said, or a slogan to be raised. Rather, it's a conduct, sacrifices, and rights to be fulfilled. Among, among, among the most important of these rites are offering sacrifices for the sake of the one's homeland. Homeland it is considered one of the six major principles that the Islamic Sharia has fostered and protected with due means. Protecting homeland is one of the core objectives of religion. Self-sacrifice is considered the highest level of sacrifice as the Almighty Allah said. Allah has purchased the persons and positions for the believers in return for paradise. Also He said, the martyrs with their Lord will have the reward and their light. Our Prophet wasallam has promised the ones who defend their land, and sacrifice themselves for it, for it's their saying. Our Prophet ﷺ has promised the ones who defend their land and sacrifice themselves for it's their sake, saying, Two eyes will never be touched by the, the fire of hell. An eye which weaves out of fear of Allah, and an eye which spends the night in guarding the cause of Allah. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ has said, Shall I not tell you of a night better than Laylatul Qadr? The one who keeps watch at night over the troops in a, in a land of fear means war, for that he may not return to his family. True patriotism also requires sincere participation in building one's homeland through perfecting one's work and caring for the quality of production, leading to the progress and prosperity of the country. Our true religion does not ask people to simply work, rather it asks them to perfect their work and master it. The Prophet has said, Allah loves someone who when we, when who, who when works, he perform it in a perfect manner. It is said, if you want to know one's loyalty, nobility, and his good manners, then watch how much he is loyal to his homeland, how much he is affiliated to it, how much he yearns for it, and how much he works for its sake.
It is one of the rights of the homeland upon its citizen that they have solidarity and compassion among each others, so that love and affection prevail and the whole society enjoys a safe and a stable life. The Almighty Allah said, the believers, both men and women, support each other. The Prophet ﷺ also said, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of their limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ also said, the most beloved people to Allah are those who are the most beneficial to people. Very important hadith. The most beloved people to Allah are those who are the most beneficial to people. The most beloved deed to Allah is to make Muslim happy, or to remove one of his troubles, or to forgive his debt, or to feed his hunger. The Prophet ﷺ, and I want to say this hadith again. The most beloved people to Allah are those who are most beneficial to people. The most beloved deed to Allah is to make a Muslim happy. Or to remove one of his troubles. Or to forgive his debt. Or to feed his hunger. The Prophet ﷺ also said, he who has an extra amount should lend it to him who has none. And he who has an extra provision should give it to him who has none. Also, the Prophet has said, He who removes from a believer one of his difficulties of this, of this world, Allah will remove one of his troubles on the day of resurrection. And he who is easy with a debtor when he's diff in when who is in difficulty, Allah will be easy with him in this world and the hereafter. He who removes from a believer one of his difficulties of this world, Allah will remove one of his troubles in the day of, ju of resurrection. And he who is easy with a debtor who is in difficulty, Allah will be easy with him in this world and in the hereafter. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad wasallam, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that one of the most important rights of the nation is to promote the value of loyalty and, aff and affiliation. Deep in the sense of responsibility towards public properties and utilities, and avoid anything that harms other fellow citizens, such as treason, fraud, manipulation, or exploitation. The Prophet ﷺ forbade all these harmful disease when he said, a horror is cursed. And also said, none withhold goods to the price, the price rises, but a sinner. Moreover, affirm that the earnings of those who trade on a people's crisis will be devoid of blessing in this world and in the afterlife. Our Prophet ﷺ also said, some people acquire Allah's wealth, means Muslims' wealth, in an unjust manner, such people will be put in the hellfire on the day of judgment. He, peace be upon him, also said, He who earns unlawful money, but uses it for to free slave or act kindly to his relatives, will have these actions counted against him. How much do we need? How much do we need to observe the rights of our homeland? The homeland for all of its sons, and it cannot advance except with the hard work and striving, and striving each other in his field and specialization. Soldiers and policemen in the preservation of the homeland security and safety. 
doctors in their hospitals, farmers in their fields, workers in their factories, and students throw their diligence in acquiring knowledge, etc. The Almighty says, help one another to do what is right and good. Do not help one another towards sin and hostility. We ask Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.